Ooh. Uh, hi, I'm Dan Umthen. 2016 is uh, finally over. Welcome to the Doomcast. 2016 was a terrible year for pretty much everyone on the entire planet, except for Donald Trump and Mads Mikkelsen, Forrest Whitaker, legal cannabis retailers, alcohol producers, pharmaceutical companies, Donald Trump still, uh, and Vladimir Putin. But for the rest of us, it sucked. Uh, it's still kind of... My head kind of hurts. Can you turn the light off a little bit? Uh, thank you. But there were some pretty good uh, comics that were produced in 2016. Some of them fantastic, even. So, uh, this is our year in review. The best single issues of 2016. One of my favorite books this year was Tom King's Batman. Issue number six was especially... It was especially touching because it counterpointed Claire Gotham Girl's upbringing with that of Bruce Wayne. It was really touching. It made me actually feel something a lot better than... As first issues go, there were a lot of really good ones this year. Uh, my favorites included uh, Harbinger Renegades. Uh, that, that was really good. Uh, really glad to see Valiant bringing Harbinger back. Animosity, number one, by Marguerite Bennett. It's a real simple, clear concept. Uh, and uh, it's just brilliantly executed. She's a great writer. Uh, and Bradley O'Valley's stock girl was really good. That was cool. I liked it. Then there's Paper Girls number nine. Uh, there's, there's like three errands in that. Like three errand teens. There's too many errands in that book. But that book's got it all. And issue number nine is great because it has them you know, jumping into a future timeline is just an uncertain future and stuff and you don't know what's going to happen. Uh, it's got alternate timelines and well there's only one timeline. Anyway you should be reading Paper Girls. It's pretty great. There were other good books too like uh, well the first full appearance of uh, Riri Williams as Ironheart Invincible Iron Man number one. That's great. She's a great character. Bendis is a great writer. Uh, it was a good origin story that they gave her. All in all, pretty refreshing. If I had to pick a best new series, though, it would probably be a three-way tie between uh, Great Lakes Avengers, Champions, that's pretty good. And I have to include, just because it technically shipped in January of 2016, Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. That's fantastic. You should check out all of those. Favorite single issue of the year, bar none, though, is uh, Avengers number 13. It has Vision going forwards in time and tracking down Kang the Conqueror after everything that he pulled in the first 12 issues of the Mark Waid Avengers series. It's basically a lone synthesoid looking at what the meaning of revenge truly is. It's a great single issue, self-contained story. Fantastic. Lest we forget the people that were taken from us, Carrie Fisher. 2016 was also the year that took James Rhodes and technically took Iron Man. I mean, he's alive, but he's technically dead. Like he's... I don't know what's happening. This just came out Wednesday. I... Marvel does this thing. Like, this was a good event, but, like, you put stuff out, and then you have other books coming out that are telling the story before it, and then you get around to telling people why it all happened. Come on! Knock it off with that Jonathan Hickman stuff. Leave the Jonathan Hickmaning to Jonathan Hickman. Anyway, everybody, hopefully 2017 will be a whole heck of a lot better, but it can't have gotten a lot better in comics. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next week. We'll be talking about drugs. <laughs>